Hi guys, welcome to Matsi with me, Miss Resi, your teacher for today. So last time we tackled about the different types of conic sections. So today let's try to focus on one particular type which is circle. So if you can still remember this lesson when the plane is perpendicular to the axis, the ellipse becomes a circle. Let's draw a vertical axis. And if it is perpendicular, forming 90 degrees or right angle, it becomes a circle. A circle will be formed here. Circle is a set of points on the coordinate plane that are equal distance from the fixed point. So let's highlight this. So let's use this. G. So it's equal distance from the fixed point. The fixed point is in the middle. Let's call it H. So it should be equal distance. So segment HA is equal to HB. H C H D H E H F and H G So let's go to the different parts of the circle. First one is this. The fixed point of the circle is called the center. So let's try to draw a circle. Where can you find the fixed point? It's located here. So that's the center. So for the next part, the line segment connecting the center to any point on the circle is called the radius. So let's draw a circle here. So where can you find the radius? So it's located from the center connecting to a point here. So that's called a line segment radius. The next part is this. The diameter is composed of two ridges passing through the center of the circle. So let's try to draw. So for example, one ridges is here and the other one is on the opposite side. So that is called the diameter. And lastly, the center is the also the midpoint of the diameter. So if this is point A, point B, point C, the midpoint is point B. So let's try to know more about circle. Let the center be point A and its coordinate be H and comma K. So let's try to draw. So let's name the center point A and the coordinates be H comma K. 
Similarly, let point B be any point on the circle with x, comma, y as its coordinates. So let's draw. So where can you find point B? Let's see how if point B is here, let's have the coordinates x and y. Also, let denote the radius by r. So, if we will connect point A and point B, point A, which is H, comma K, and point B, which is X, comma Y. If you're going to connect that, let's call that radius R. So the distance between points A and B is nothing but the radius. So here, going there, the distance there is called the radius. Let's try to find the distance between points A and B. Since we know the coordinates A and B, we can find the distance of AB using the distance formula. So that's the distance formula. So we get this squaring both the sides of the equation. And that is the general equation of the circle. In standard form. So what is the equation of a circle whose center lies on the origin? So let's use a graphing paper and draw the Cartesian plane. So where can you find the x-axis? The other one is the y-axis. And let's draw a circle. Mm -hmm. Close enough. So, the center is in the origin. Let's call this point A, also known as zero, zero origin. Since the center is the origin of the values of H and K become zero, substituting these values in the general equation, we get this one. And solving it further, we get this Pythagorean theorem. So this is the equation of a circle with the origin as its center. x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So for example, we have x squared plus y squared equals 9. So using this, we will have x squared plus y squared equals to 3 squared. So for example, the coordinates of this is at the center 
at zero zero coordinates. So let's try to draw a Cartesian plane. So from the radius r squared is equal to 9 and the square root of both sides r is equal to 3. So to graph that we need 3 units to the right 1, 2, 3 that will be 3 comma 0 next to the left 1, 2, 3 negative 3 comma 0 next to the upper part that is 0, 3 and the lower part 0, negative 3 So if you're going to connect that we'll have a radius of three units. So if you want to draw the radius from here to here the radius is 3 r is equal to 3 in some other books they just do the shifting of values for example the center is located at 1 comma negative 2 how do you get that from this negative 1 think of a number that when you add to negative 1 it will become 0 from the origin remember 0 0 you can use 1 1 minus 1 is 0 Another thing is 2. What will you add to 2 to get 0? You need negative, negative 2. So that's the center. And the radius here is uh, 9 or 3 squared or just r is equal to 3. So, so let's try to grab positive 1 and negative 2. So where is that coordinate? Positive 1 and negative 2. So that is positive 1, negative 2. So we need to count 3 units because of the radius 3 so 1, 2, 3 to the right to the left 1, 2, 3 1, 2, 3 1, 2, 3 then try to connect that Radius is having three units from these points, so r is equal to three. So it's just uh, shifting the values from the origin. 